Welcome back to Boiler House Garage and to the third video testing how ethanol in petrol affects fuel consumption. I was a little reluctant to finish this video as I highlighted in the previous one how some external factors have potentially given unfair results in the uh, later of these mileage tests, namely the roadworks that just seem to pop up unexpectedly during the otherwise consistent commute I use for each of these fuels. However, I think we can still learn something from the results, and it also answered a question I had about the ethanol free Shell V power, which we tested in the first video and I have an average mileage result of 40.7 mpg in my 2014 Ford Fiesta. In this video, we compare it to another premium ethanol free super unleaded, SO Synergy Supreme 99 Plus, to see if the comprehensive additives package that V Power boasts may be more tailored to performance and efficiency, and perhaps like ethanol, lowers the calorific value of the fuel. So let's find out. Test your might. Test your might. So we have our result. Now I must say again, as per the last video, the V-Power was tested before a short stop at some roadworks I had to contend with during these tests. Would that be enough to make a 1.8 mile per gallon difference? I personally doubt it, but it certainly answered my question about the additives package, which does not appear to reduce the fuel's energy value. Round two. Fight. As per the last video's result, Shell Fuel Save, which although advertised as an E10 but actually contains 5% ethanol, we average 36.2 mpg, making it cheaper to run my car on its super unleaded alternatives, V Power and SO Supreme. Fatality. These results would have been published as separate videos for each fuel, but I decided to list them all here to demonstrate the inconsistency in the results which I put down to having to stop at the roadworks in the test cycles for four of these six fuels, including Esso's E10 petrol, which like Shell's E10 petrol also contains 5% ethanol. Fight. Not too dissimilar from Shell's, Esso E10 got me an average of 36.4 mpg. In the first video we compared Shell V Power to Texaco E10, which I had tested to find contained 6% ethanol. The result of 36.5 mpg, which like the V Power, was obtained prior to the roadworks, and perhaps is why we have slightly better Fight. mileage from a fuel with slightly more ethanol. Our final result was from Breeze, more widely known as Harvest, whose E10 uh, fuel contains 7% ethanol. If you're new to the channel and want to see several petrols tested for ethanol content, please take a look at my playlist and consider subscribing. The E7 fuel from Breeze gives us an average of 36 mpg, which despite the issue with the roadworks, shows us a very obvious mileage disparity in the petrol blended with 5-7% to ethanol, and certainly in the case of my Fiesta ST, makes using E10 petrol a false economy. I should be returning to ethanol content testing very soon, I'm just a little busy with the Manta project now. I'll also be testing the super unedited samples for Octane as I go, so please make sure you're subscribed to be notified of that. Thanks very much for watching.